they have a specific complaint that's really bothering them, or two or three. A little bit more unusual things. And so I developed several chronic diseases. Something unexpected. These are frightening diseases to the most experienced physician. If I hear one more time, we don't have enough research and we don't have enough data, my head is going to explode. The biggest surprise for me uh, in uh, observing my patients who uh, have adopted a whole food plant-based diet is that they have actually been able to not just control or manage, but reverse their chronic illness while coming off their medications. And that's just radical and revolutionary. For most people, the biggest surprise is that they actually get well. You know, in medicine, if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, autoimmune diseases, lymphoma, et cetera, you're told if you, if you do what you're told, you'll never get well. You'll be sick the rest of your life. And with this approach, the shocking thing is the body's able to do what it does best, and that's heal itself. I mean, there's only one diet ever been proven to reverse heart disease in the majority of patients. That's a plant-based diet, right? I mean, does anyone tries to sell you on some new diet? Look, do me a favor, ask them a simple question. What are you saying? Does this new diet, has it been proven to reverse heart disease? You know, number one or two reason me and all my loved ones will die? If the answer is no, why would you even consider it? Lowers the weight, lowers the cholesterol, blood pressure. I've had patients go off their insulin, go off their blood pressure medications. Including with my own father of diabetes being completely reversed and out of control blood sugar being completely in control on no insulin. If I could get good blood glucose control, good cholesterol control, and good blood pressure with the aid of medications such as metformin, glipizide, lisinopril, hydrochlorothiazide and Lipitor for, for their cholesterol, I was considered a good doctor. And now what I'm seeing is that these same patients who come in on all these medications are able to get rid of all of them just by changing what they put at the end of their fork. It's stunning, it, it's, it's awe-inspiring to see the bloat leave their faces, these lovely jaw lines appear, and this downward progression of numbers appears on their chart. Their weight goes down by two pounds every week, their high elevated blood pressure comes down, their cholesterol levels come down, their days between bowel movements comes down as their constipation goes away, the, and the amount of medications that they need goes down quickly. And uh, the only line is my satisfaction and happiness for them. Now, that goes up. But it, it's just remarkable to, to see these diseases. These fearsome ones, I was told, never go away. Lupus, uh, we don't know what caused it, never goes away. High blood pressure, they'll take these pills the rest of their life. Diabetes, one on insulin, always an insulin. Most of the time when people come into my office, they have a specific complaint that's really bothering them, or two or three, all right? So they're either overweight or they have the beginning stages of kidney disease and they're scared half to death or they're type two diabetic. So that's the reason why they do it. But then what they normally will say after a period of time is, you know, the reason why I did this, because I was really motivated, I don't wanna be diabetic, I don't wanna go into kidney failure. But you know the interesting thing, my acne cleared up, or I'm sleeping better, or I'm waking up in the morning and I'm alert and I'm not falling asleep in the middle of the afternoon like I used to. I used to go get a cup of coffee at two o'clock and now I'm, you know, energetic. Yes, the weight loss and yes, the blood sugars are dropping, uh, the blood pressure, the cholesterol, but I'm always fascinated, fascinated by the people who come in and they say things like, my joints feel better. Or suddenly, you know, I couldn't open a jar of spaghetti uh, three weeks ago, but I can do it now. Like, is this just a side effect of the diet that we, no one ever told us about? So I, I love those little surprises that, that come out in the studies. Like we weren't even looking at that, but that's great. Or my skin cleared up or my psoriasis is gone. Um, just these amazing holistic benefits to the entire body. A lot of people see that they have improved digestion. So they, whether it's gas, bloating, constipation, abdominal pain, all of those digestive problems seem to relieve themselves. We work specifically with people with, with type 1 diabetes, pre-diabetes, and type 2 diabetes, and we see an incredible benefit for blood glucose regulation. Uh, people can come off of a lot of medication, whether it's heart disease medication uh, or you know medication for specific chronic diseases. And uh, people also become a lot more active. So you know you get a lot of energy and then you just feel like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this energy, and then you just start working out and having a good time. What is also kind of unexpected is that minor ailments can be improved too. So things like allergies 
Um, a lot of people blame the allergies on their cat or their, the pollen in the, in the air from the trees. And in fact, those things might be a trigger, but when you remove the inflammatory substances from what you're eating, then you actually are able to tolerate all of those other environmental tr triggers a lot better. So I've seen people who no longer have to take allergy medicines every day once they eliminate animal foods. A little bit more unusual things, patients get better from their skin allergies, their uh, chronic sinus congestion. Well, the usual stuff happens, also diabetes, heart disease, cholesterol lowers, but almost to a person, with my patient, something unexpected improves. So very commonly they'll say they sleep better and they have more energy. Uh, very often a chronic, a chronic issue will just resolve something that they've had for years and years and years. For example, a chronic ache or pain, a skin issue. Um, maybe they had a, a, a belly or a GI issue. I've had patients who have had prostatitis and inflammation of the prostate for years and years, had all the routine regular therapies, and it's quite debilitating, went away after adopting a plant-based diet. People who've had uh, cystitis and inflamed bladder went away after adopting a plant-based diet. Now, I can't unequivocally prove that that's from the diet, but that's the only thing that changed. Sexual function improves. Erectile dysfunction, I can't tell you how many patients I've had who have now said that you know their erectile dysfunction has improved or resolved. And it's improved sexual function, not just for men, but women as well. People notice right off the bat that they have more energy. It certainly boosts um, the energy. Uh, Plant-based foods have been found to activate our brown fat and our AMP kinase, which is an energy sensor. So it boosts up our, our energy levels. Their energy levels increase exponentially, and this is a complete uh, surprise to them that they have energy they never thought that they had and they're able to use it in all sorts of ways, extra activities, uh, to be more romantic with their partner, to be able to exercise, all the kinds of things that are usually excuses. You know, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm too tired. Oh, your sex life improves dramatically because it's blood flow. Think about it. I mean, what's impotence? It's blood, lack of blood flow to the penis. So instead of taking Viagra, all you have to do is eat kale. And we have the same blood flow as females. And when you're eating a diet full of antioxidants and micronutrients, you have increased blood flow everywhere. Another benefit um, that is really unexpected is that guys with erectile dysfunction or who might just occasionally have a problem getting it up, they will find often that that is completely no longer a problem. And the reason for that is because there is plaque in the arteries from a, a standard processed animal food diet. And we tend to think of that as only related to the arter arteries that go to our heart. But in fact, smaller arteries are affected first. So the penile arteries get affected and they have plaque too. And when that happens, blood flow declines. A number of my patients are competitive athletes and they'll report how with simply changing their diet, their um, time for running a mile goes down. They're able to work out more intensely and more quickly. And there's plenty of pathophysiologic rationale to back that up. If they have a problem with pooping on a regular basis, their constipation is improved. And the reason for that is that the average person eating a standard processed diet that might include 10 to 15 grams of fiber a day. The recommendation is to get 25 to 30 grams of fiber a day, but a whole food plant-based eater is getting 60 to 100 grams of fiber a day. Definitely bowel movements, things start to move. I mean, people are sometimes only going to the bathroom once a week, which is crazy. And you finally start eating whole plant foods, you get tons of fiber, that's an amazing benefit. I think people are surprised at the level of happiness. It seems like I'm nicer. People have even told me that. I feel like I'm being a nicer person. Well, when you don't feel terrible, you can be a lot nicer. I've had patients whose hearts were beating much more weakly than normal. Normally a heart squeezes like this. Well, their heart was squeezing like that. And they were on all the appropriate medications. But then fast forward a few months after being on a healthier lifestyle, suddenly their heart is beating more strongly. Now, is that the diet? Is that tincture of time? I can't unequivocally prove that, but that's been a pretty amazing thing to see as well. I 
personally transitioned to a plant-based diet about five or six years ago. I had uh, injured my knee and um, became unable to exercise because I'm a bad patient like most doctors and I had surgery and didn't do the rehab and I gained a lot of weight. And so I developed several chronic diseases, uh, sleep apnea, I had irregular heart rhythm, I developed high cholesterol, borderline diabetes. And my doctors never once talked to me about my diet. They treated me just like I treated my patients at the time. And serendipitously, I saw the documentary Forks Over Knives about using food as medicine uh, before I started a prescription for cholesterol medicine, which I had in my wallet at the time. And the most amazing trans things I discovered as I went through that process over the three months that, that kind of did, took it for a test drive, if you will. So not only did I lose weight, which I expected, not only did my cholesterol plummet, did I, which I expected, my sleep apnea went away as I lost weight. The irregular heart rhythm went away as I lost weight. But even more amazing were the effects on my mood and my productivity at work and my general energy levels. Um, my allergies went away, which I never, uh, never expected. Or, or I mean, I never even thought about that. I had had lifelong seasonal allergies, which where I had to take drugs and nasal sprays. And the first allergy season after I went plant-based, they went away. And and I think. Be you know, people don't recognize the profound impact of the standard American diet has not only on our health itself directly, but you know, the inflammation is highly inflammatory, which contributes to many of these diseases like you know, allergies and asthma and even many chronic autoimmune diseases. When you get rid of those sugar highs and lows, you, you no longer need a soda or a candy bar at 10 in the morning or 3 in the afternoon to sustain yourself at work. So your productivity level goes up, which gives you more time to exercise at the end of the day. And those are things I never really expected. And, and I see those same things in my patients, the ones that fully engage. You adopt a whole food plant-based diet and the obesity melts away and the arteries open up and the high blood pressure goes down and the joints stop hurting and the skin clears up and the bowels start working and you say, ah, feels good to be healthy again. When we're talking about serious issues, heart disease and cancer and diabetes and obesity, these are serious now. And they are deadly serious for the next generation. Cardiovascular disease isn't the only disease that is turned around by this. We mentioned diabetes, we mentioned hypertension, we mentioned strokes, we mentioned vascular dementia. Ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, allergies, asthma, renal disease, the, the list goes on. And we absolutely halted it, stopped it, reversed it. They have to show me the same with their diet.